This is an example of how you might bring in some data from real data sets. Uh, we're going to plot them on the map and then we're going to create a territory and show a, use labels to show an accumulation of data. So to bring in data, I'm going to click on this plot data on map button. And we just browse to wherever our spreadsheet is. I have a folder on my desktop uh, called real data sets here. And we have the zip code list. And we just walk through. This will just take a moment to do so. Okay, uh, we just want to stop here and we have Zip City County, MSA. Uh, I'm just going to plot by zip code. I'm going to leave all the other fields set to none, just so I'm only locating by that column. Okay, now we just have zips, and I'll click Next. Uh, this ID, if it uh, defaults to the real zip extension ID, uh, we can just leave that set to none. The name is what first appears when you click on a dot on the map, so I'm going to just change that to zip, just so that pops up for me. And then I'll just click plot, and we'll see those map points on the map in a moment. Pro subscription, you can plot up to 250,000 points per map, and with our standard subscription, you can plot up to 100,000 points per map. So now, when we click Done, uh, we're going to be presented with our data window. So these are all uh, of the zip codes across the nation. Uh, we're not going to color code yet. Uh, we just care about the the data that's in that. Uh, so if we look at the data window, we can see information uh, like the number of establishments. So this is just all of the information from the spreadsheet. So we can see. Uh, the number of establishments here and we can next uh, use that as part of a label and use it as part of territories as well so if we want to meet a certain number of establishments uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uncheck this zip code layer just so all those points go away I'm going to turn on my zip codes and I'm going to turn on my states as well I'm going to take a look at Wisconsin so I'm going to I could zoom in on the map uh, but I'm first going to since I only care about Wisconsin right now I'm going to click on the state filter I'm going to clear all the other states except for uh, Wisconsin. So now I have just those zips. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make that layer transparent. So I'm going to go to Map and Data, click on the little settings gear next to Zip 5 Codes, and I'm going to bring that transparency bar over to the right-hand side. We care about Green Bay, so I'm going to go ahead and just zoom in on the map there. Okay, so what we can see is our, our zip codes, and you'll see the zip code number here. Uh, the black numbering on the map is what we call an auto label, and you can attach up to five pieces of information as part of that. Uh, to attach the information, I'm going to go back into Manage Map and Data at the zip code level, and I'm going to click on Labels this time. I'm also going to make the transparency a little less transparent, just so I can see those areas, those zip codes a little bit better. I could also change the border color if I wanted to. So I'm going to click on Labels. Uh, I'm going to change it to normal just so it's a little easier to see and then I'm going to click on format labels. I want to change the information below that black number and so that's an auto label so I'm going to click that tab and this is where I can put up to five pieces of information. So I'm going to take a look at that real zips uh, data set and then I get to choose uh, which ones I want. Uh, I'm going to look for the establishments total That's a little long, so let me just uh, put businesses. Change labels. So now we can see that we have uh, 736 here, we have 84 here, 185, 90, and so on. So next, we can start to build our territories and we're going to be able to show an accumulation of data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the shift button on my keyboard and I'm going to just start clicking on some of these zip codes. And then once we have a good chunk of where we want to be, we click on this little blue puzzle piece 
and we give it a territory name. So we'll just call it uh, we'll just call it GB1. The data window will pop back up, uh, and we can see all the zip codes that are part of that territory. Uh, we can go here if we wanted to change the color to something else. We can also make that layer a little more see-through by opening up Manage Map and Data again, this time at the territories level, and we go to General, and then that's where we can move our bar over to the right-hand side. While I'm in here, uh, let's go ahead and change those labels as well. So I'm going to click Labels. I'm going to change that background color to make it pop a little bit more, and then I'm going to click on Format Labels. When I click on that, I'm going to choose the number one, take a look at that real data sets set again, and then I'm going to go down to Establishments, So now I can see I have a total of 4,263 establishments uh, within that area. If I start clicking on the zip codes, hold down the shift button, click on those, uh, click blue puzzle piece, and then this time I can do add to GB1. And now I can see that I'm up to 5,900. What I can also do is I can add information to this territory list through the more data button, which is in the lower right corner. If I click on that, then I can pull information from that data set as well. So I can go down to zip codes and I can go to number of establishments, bring that over, move that to the top so it's right next to the zip codes, and then let's also remove some of this extra data. Click that left arrow, make those go away. Click set data columns, and now I have the zip code along with the total number of establishments, and then I can go ahead and, and click that button to export it back out um, to a CSV file. Uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. Uh, otherwise, have a great day.